we are going to see right now how to do the affine transformation uh, what is that if we have an image the affine transformation will be something that like on this image we push on one side from the top and on the, on the other side to the bottom so it's kind of slices if I can say it this way so all the parallel lines will still be parallel so, so like this on the x axis and this on the y axis because the image will go this way so this will be still parallel uh, let's see an example uh, with python so let's uh, type the code import cv2 import numpy as np we load the image emg equals to cv2 dot im read grid dot jpg and you can download this image from the link that I will put in the description then cv2 dot im show image and emg cv2 dot weight key zero cv2 dot destroy all windows let's run the code and see if it's right okay this is the image now to do the affine transformation we need to take three points so i'm going to draw these points i'm going to draw a circle in each point so we have cv2 dot circle on the image then we have the center of the circle mm, let's say that center something like 95 95 radius 5 pixel color i'm going to do it a red circle so we're going to use color format bgr so zero blue zero green and 255 red thickness minus one which means fill the circle uh, actually I would like to have the circle in this exact uh, angle uh, so more on the left a little bit more on the top so 93 87 probably even less 85 92 okay we have the circle in the center now let's draw a second circle parallel to this one let's take for example this point uh, so the points is going to be on the same row but just different columns so I'm going to copy this one um, row the row is 90 at the columns it's let's say 425 a bit more 435 45 uh, a little bit more 47 should be fine now I'm going to take a third point exactly on the same line of this first point I'm going to say for example this one so the points is is on the same column I'm going to copy this um, so as I said same column 90 uh, actually same column it's 83 let's say 480 
a little bit less, very close, 475. 472. Okay, we got three points. Uh, I draw circles, it's not necessary, but it's good to see where these points are. Now we're going to copy these points and put it inside an array. So we create an array with points pts1 it's equals to np.float32 we open brackets then brackets again for the first point brackets for the second and brackets for the third and we copy this in this exactly order Now that we have these three points, we need to create a second array again with three points. And in this new array, we are going to change the position of each point so that the image can move. At the beginning, I'm going to put exactly the same point. So we have PTS2 equals to, I copy just this one. And now we need to create the matrix. It's equals to cv2.get affine transform. And we have points so one and point two, PTS two. After we have the matrix, we can apply the transformation cv2. Dot, uh, actually, let's say a result it's equals to cv2.warp affine uh, the transformation must be done on the image so emg matrix and the size of the image to get the size of the image we need to get the shape of the image so it is rows columns channels equals to emg.shape and here we need to put first columns and then rows. Now I'm going to show this uh, this result. Cv two dot him show. Uh, let's call it a fine transformation and result. We have the original image and the transformed image which are exactly the same because I I put the same points in the same position let's do some change for example let's move these points on the right so these points will be the third one, this one, to move it on the right we need to change the column so this one is the column instead of 83 let's say 150 and let's run the code again and you can see the translation of the image uh, if you check the, the distance from this point to this point is still the same as it was here and the distance from each point here is still the same so these lines are parallels and this line as well are parallels you can just um, transform even more for example let's say zero so you make start this point you make it start from the part zero even from the top we can say zero zero okay and you can adjust as you want uh, 
these points. This is all for this video.